A warm welcome to Hanna Tete, former fellow of the Robert Bosch Academy. With Ukraine on everybody's mind at the Munich Security Conference 2022, how do you see the attention to the Sahel region at this conference? It's important to recognize that what happens in the Sahel is also important for the safety and security of Europe. The Sahel region is on the forefront of the battle against climate change and is one of the first regions in the world that is actually impacted by the climate crisis. This is having an effect on livelihoods, it's, effect, it's having an effect on peace and security within the region, and because of the lack of opportunity, it has become a fertile ground for the recruitment by organized crime and terrorist organizations. Thank you, but even with France and maybe other European nations withdrawing from the region, there's still quite a large international military presence in the Sahel. For instance, the United Nations mission MINUSMA is going to continue. What steps need to be taken? What needs to happen so there is no future need for a United Nations peacekeeping mission in the region? I think it's important to make the distinction between peacekeeping operations and peace enforcement operations and counterterrorism operations. Currently, MONISMA is a peacekeeping operation. The G5 Sahel Force was a counterterrorism operation that was underfinanced. And perhaps it is the time which is something that we'll be working on between the United Nations, the African Union, and other partners to review the Sahel strategy and to work together to develop a new comprehensive response that recognizes that there are many different parts and dimensions to the fight against terrorism and extremism, but it is important to have well-financed, well-structured, well-organized counterterrorism operations that need to be supported by both the EU and the member states of the West Africa region, as well as the countries that have been particularly affected. Yes, we've been talking quite a bit about international interventions in this interview. How do you see the role of local peace builders in the region, even in, on the community level, and how can their work be integrated into larger regional or maybe even international efforts? There are various tracks that take place within mediation processes, and of course local and what are largely considered as track three mediation processes are very important. However, building peace between communities where there are contestations over scarce resources is only sustainable when there is also a focus on development support in order to create the opportunity for sustainable livelihoods. And so I think it's important to give support to local peace building and mediation efforts, especially those that involve women, young people, and otherwise marginalized communities. But it's also important to remember that after a peace agreement has been arrived at, its implementation also requires additional support to remove the causes of conflict and to help to create new opportunities that allow communities that have previously been in conflict to live together in harmony.